our Malaysian government implemented the movement control order as the COVID-19 pandemic worsened in March 2020. School pupils had to stay at home and teachers had to start online teaching. Under the leadership of Datuk Dr. Ma Hang Soon, the Deputy Minister of Education Office has launched Easy Learning Web. Pupils are able to continue learning from home through the Easy Learning Facebook page and YouTube channel. Easy Learning Web is an interactive learning platform. Pupils are welcome to interact with the teachers during lessons via the chat room section. Real learning can only take place when there is an active two-way communication. We continue to improve ourselves to keep abreast with the latest trend in education. Let's venture into the world of learning together with Easy Learning Web. Easy Learning Web welcomes you. Hello, hi, good evening, everyone, teachers, pupils, and viewers of Easy Learning Web. How are you today? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spark in the Dark Learn English Online series, which is brought to you by Easy Learning Web. I am Mr. Liu, and I'm from SJKC Namkyong. Kuala Lumpur, and I'm your moderator of today's lesson. All right, so for information, this is our third episode of the Spark in the Dark Learning English Online series. First of all, I would like to know, is it your first time joining us? First time? Or second time? Okay. So I believe, okay, I believe some of you might not know what Easy Learning Web is. Easy Learning Web is a meaningful and educational online series initiated by the Ministry of Education, Malaysia. All the lessons here are well planned and conducted by a group of dedicated and experienced school teachers around the country. So what you need to do is just sit back and relax, paying full attention throughout the lesson. Well, before I go on with your lesson for today, I have some reminders for all pupils. Okay, so what are the reminders? Let's look at the reminders. Okay, reminder, the first reminder, since the lesson is going to be lasted for an hour, therefore, I hope to have your full attention throughout the lesson. Number two, you can take some notes on a paper or in a book using a pencil or a pen. Number three, of course, you can respond to a questions by, by typing in the chat box or comment sessions. Okay, number four, you must, okay, you must comment politely and positively. So to ensure that we have a productive session. So please do not comment with some negative words that may hurt someone's feelings. Okay, number five, so you can use your earphones and for a better audio and adjust your video solution resolution to 720p for better viewing experience. Okay, last but not least, okay, this is very important. Okay, you have to drop down three passcode, okay, three passcode mentioned throughout the lesson for your certificate. All right, so allow me to explain it in Mandarin. 好, 同学们, 你们在上这堂课的时候呢, 有一个非常重要的任务, 那就是要找出三个通关密码, 啊, three passcode, 三个通关密码, 然后呢, 请把它记下来, 因为呢, 那是用来换取你的证书, 
，OK， 明白吗，同学们 ？OK， 好 ，All right， so All right, so these live sessions will be available on both Easy Learning Web's Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So you may watch it, and you can replay them at your convenience. Okay, so boys and girls, now I have two tasks for you. So as you can see on the screen, this is the Easy Learning Web Facebook page. So I need you to. Do some exercise, okay? You exercise your finger, so you just move the cursor to the light button and just click on it. Next, this is okay. Next, this is the Easy Learning Web YouTube channel. Okay, likewise, please move your cursor over the subscribe button and click on it as well. Okay, so. If yes, congratulations! You have accomplished your task, so you will be able to receive notification of our upcoming Spark in the Dark Learn English Online series. Okay, so well, my fellow students. So, what is today's topic about? Now, what is the topic about today's lesson? So, it's about transportation from around the world. Huh. Now I want to know how many types of transportation that you have tried before. How many types? Three types: car, bus, or bicycle. No, no. Five types. Five types plus motorcycle and aeroplane. Okay, so now. I wish to introduce our presenter for today's lesson. He is Mr. Lai Shenjie, or you can call him Mr. Dave.、Uh, he is an experienced English language teacher from SJKC Chongguo, Kuala Lumpur. So, Mr. Dave is going to share with us about transportation from around the world. Let's welcome Mr. Dave. Hi. Hello, thank you, Mr. Liu. Okay, thank you. All right. So, hi. Good evening to all students,、uh, all viewers of Easy Learning Web here. Okay, I'm Mr. Dave. You can call me Ca Captain Dave today. <laughs> all right. Yes. Okay. So, now today I'm going to be sharing with you all about transportation from around the world. Okay, so now, first thing, let's take a look at the slide first. Okay, so today, what are you going to learn? The first thing is you will learn how to differentiate different types of transportation. Next, you will read a passage and answer questions that follow, and learn what adjectives are. And the last thing that you are going to learn is to write. At least two sentences in a paragraph, based on a picture using correct adjectives. All right. So now, as what、um, Mr. Liu asked you just now, the question, right? So here is the question: What do you know about the transportation in Malaysia? Can you all please name the transportation that you know of in Malaysia? By clicking on the link here, okay. So now I'm going to click on this link, and I'm going to share with you the results, okay, of your answers. Can you all please do so? Exercise your fingers now by just typing in, okay.、Um, there's a link attached in the command box, if I'm not mistaken. So you can just type your answers there, right? There's a link given there. Okay, so you all can just、um, you know type there. Okay, all right. Let me share with you. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the answers here. Okay, the first one, transportation. Okay, so can you see the answers here? Can you just type your answers there? Okay. Name the transportations that you know of. Okay. All right, so click on the link there. Yes, there's a link given. Or you can just type the address. Okay, HTTP and then uh, tiny.cc Malaysia 1. Okay, tiny.cc Malaysia 1. All right, then you are, you are able to type your answers there. So just name the transportation that you know of in Malaysia. Any transportation that you know of in Malaysia? Okay, let me refresh again. Uh, so anyone? Okay, let me see. Let me look at the results, yeah? Okay. Yes. Name the transportation. I can see a lot of answers, right? Uh, car. Uh, someone type phone. <laughs> Is phone a transportation? Hmm, I don't think so. Um, yes. Bus, all right, in Malaysia, only in Malaysia, all right? Only in Malaysia. So, um, okay, car. Plane, yes, that's correct. All right, so as what I can see here, most of you answered correctly. All right, most of you have provided the correct answers. Very good, good job, guys. All right, so these are the, yes, the transportations, all right, the transportation in Malaysia. Okay, so now let's check. Whether did you write this? The first one, aeroplane, right? Yes. The second type is helicopter. Okay. Next, a motorcycle, right? Okay. A ship. And then a train, a bus, a car, or lorry. Yes. Have you seen any? Now, did anyone not seen any of these uh, transportation? No, right? I think these are quite common ones that we can find either, you know, uh, in water or maybe on the road or in the air, right? Okay, now here's the question. These are very common ones, right? But what about the transportation from all around the world? Did you know that? There are some cool and unique transportations from around the world. Ah, so now remember, Mr. Liu uh, mentioned, did mention this uh, to you, right? That you need to jot down the passcode, right? The passcode. So remember to jot down the passcode, yeah? So this is the first passcode. Why do you need this passcode? Because you will get a certificate, okay? After attending few lessons with the correct passcodes that you key in, Every time, okay, that is every time you go in the class, right, there is a link given to you. So you must fill out the form. Okay, you must fill out the form. 
and you must also key in the passcodes then only you're entitled to get a certificate from the moe the ministry of education all right so here's the first passcode please jot down the first passcode is unique so unique this is the first passcode jot down yeah okay the first passcode is unique so please remember to jot down all right jot down okay so now let's go back to the topic now here are some cool and unique okay transportations from around the world that i would like to introduce to you so the first thing is the first transportation is called trams this is a tram a tram in france all right this is a tram in france so it is not a trainer a tram is not a train it's a train uh it's a train like vehicle okay so that's called tram all right t-r-a-m tram so i want you to find the answer from the text given here now listen to my question what is this what is the top speed of this tram train what is the top speed of this tram train anyone yes i can see that kbu commented i saw in germany yes germany oh is it in germany yeah probably okay but this one definitely in france you can find it in france now my question again uh what is the top speed of this tram train top speed can you find the keyword top speed i can see a lot of you answer 80 kilometer per hour is it correct is the answer correct hmm yes clarence got it right yes tan k tan k k yes and most of you yes very good right it's 100 see 100 kilometer per hour so yes this is the top speed okay but overall generally it travels at up to 80 kilometer per hour but may have a top speed of 100 kilometer per hour okay now the second vehicle the second transportation what is this this is what it called suspension railway in Wuppertal, Germany. All right, it's in Germany. Now, here's the question. Listen, yeah? Listen to the question, yeah? How many tons of steel were used to build this suspension railway? In order to build the suspension railway, right? How many tons of steel? Okay, how many tons of steel were used to build this suspension railway? how many anyone oops all right so anyone what? yes nineteen thousand two hundred. yes that's correct so always look for the key words all right yes over here see nineteen thousand and two hundred tons of steel all right well that's a lot that's a lot you see in order to build this suspension railway it's it used a lot of steel okay so that's why it's very unique all right suspension means what is hanging all right in the air suspension here comes the third okay unique transportation now that can be found in italy in italy now here comes the question what is the best way to see a lot of cities attractions now what is the best way if you want to enjoy the view in Italy, right? So what is the best way? What is the best way? Students, can you just type your answers in the comment box there? What is the best way? Okay, best way to see a lot of the city's attractions. Yes, I can see the answer. Very good. If you just type boat, is a bit too general so it's probably you can just be more specific what is the name of this boat it's called gondola yes it's called gondola all right so yes you can travel yes you see venice okay is famous for its large network of canals and the best way to get around them is by using a traditional wood carved gondola boat all right so gondola so this is the answer very good good job all right now here comes the next transportation 
this is very unique. I bet you all like it very much if you go to this place. Ah, it's called Toboggan. Okay, Toboggan. So Toboggan is in Portugal. All right, Toboggan. Okay, now spot the answer, please. Okay, this is the question that I'm going to ask you. How long does it take to slide down the 2 km curved street? How long does it take? How long does it take, okay, to slide down the 2 km curved street? What is a curved street? Curved street means what? It's curved, right? There's a, there's a way for you to just bend, right? It's curved. So how long does it take? 10 minutes. Very good. 10 minutes. All right, so this is the answer, 10 minutes. And these are the keywords, 2 km curved street. So always li listen to the keywords, the keywords, all right? Okay, next. Ah, I think this vehicle, I think most of you will like it because it's very unique in terms of the shape, the color. It's called Coco. Ah, have you ever um ridden in this uh, vehicle before it's called coco coco is in cuba all right coco not chocolate cocoa huh? <laughs> this is what why why is it called cocoa huh? why because of the shape right like coconut okay like a coconut so it's called coco all right because of the shape Ah, yes, it's a taxi. Very good. Ah, I can see like some of you commented there. Yeah, it looks, yes, this, this, uh, this look uh, adorable. Yes, you use the word adorable. Good word. Okay, adorable means like very cute, right? Uh -huh. And my question is, are they faster and less expensive? Are they faster and less expensive? Yes or no? You just need to answer yes or no. Are they faster and less expensive? Hmm. What do you think? Yes or no? Yes. So here's now look always look uh, always look for the keywords. Uh, always look for the keywords here. They are faster and less expensive than regular taxis. Okay. All right. Next. So the next thing, ah, this one is very close to nature, close to nature, which means you can touch the plants, you know, trees, flowers, and so on. Ah, this is what I call a bamboo train, a bamboo train in Cambodia. Okay, bamboo train. Why is it called a bamboo train? It's because of the platform. The platform, uh, the, the platform here is made of bamboos, all right? And then, now, here comes the question. Listen, yeah? What is the fastest speed that this bamboo train can run? What is the fastest speed? The maximum speed. What is the maximum speed? Ah, yes. Ong Yu Jet, you got it right. Who else? Hmm, very good. Who else? Come on, your answer, please. Bamboo train. What is the fastest speed that this train can run? Yes, 40 km per hour. Yes. You know how how fast is it? 40 km per hour. You know how fast is it? Do you have the idea like how fast is 40 km per hour? Ah. Okay, never mind. Next time you can ask your parents to show you the how's the speed, you know, when it when the car runs at like 40 km per hour then you know the speed is very not too fast okay not too fast but this one uh, for this train it cannot travel too fast because <laughs> it's very dangerous right you see right with no carriage and everything right so no protection so it's very dangerous so that's why bamboo train cannot travel too fast all right okay next ah this is very attractive i think I think this one is quite special, okay? It's like a, um, a train, but they call it a trolley, okay? Trolley. So it's called Dubai Trolley in Dubai, okay? It's in Dubai. All right, now here comes the question. Where can this Dubai Trolley be found? 
Where can it be found? Where can it be found? Any answers? Where can it be found? Hmm. Nali ke zhao dao. Where can it be found? Where can this Dubai trolley be found? GG. <laughs> uh, someone commented GG. Why GG? Yes, Yo Zixin. You got it right. So it's in downtown Dubai. Okay, downtown. Downtown means what? Downtown. Okay, it means city, right? So between the various iconic attractions in downtown Dubai. All right. So this vehicle um, can be found in downtown Dubai. Good. I think now you have uh, mastered the skills, uh, the reading skills. Good job. So which means you always listen to the keywords and find the keywords. And there, from there, you find the answers. All right. So this is what you are going to learn today. Reading skills. Reading skills means you spot, listen, okay, and spot and find. Okay. All right. Now, next, this is what we call Tanga. Okay. Tanga in Pakistan. Tanga. Okay. Now, by looking at this vehicle, right, will you travel in it? Will you travel in it? Will you give it a try? You see, look at the comment here. Um, it's not to be so comfortable. See, do not expect it to be comfortable. It's not so comfortable. Maybe, you know, like if let's say you want to travel, uh, probably I will choose the one, you see, this one at the back, all right? The vehicle at the back the, with the three wheels, right? The motor, uh, but not this one maybe, but it's a good experience that you can travel. I mean, you can just try, give it a try. Short distance. All right. I can see a lot of say uh, a lot of you mentioned. Uh, I mean, commented yes. Yeah, I think it's it's a good try, right? Okay. Next, huh. I think in kampong. Uh, if let's say you are you are from kampong, uh, kampong, then of course you will see this quite often. Uh, this is what I call haba haba in Philippines. Okay, haba haba in the Philippines. So haba haba means what? Means many people. They can travel on one motorcycle. What do you think? Is it safe? Is it safe to be travel? I mean, to be traveling on one motorcycle with so many people? I don't think so, right? <laughs> so this is this is definitely against the law in Malaysia. In Malaysia, so don't ever try this. But in the Philippines, that is their culture. This is their culture, and they call it hubble hubble. Okay, now here comes the question. How many people can travel on a motorcycle? How many people okay, can travel on a motorcycle? What is the maximum number? Can you find the answers? Yes? Can you find the answer? Ah, there is no social distancing. Good job. <laughs> yeah, there is no social distancing. You see? Ah, I cannot. This is against the law. Okay, good. All right. Yes, always remember uh, social distancing. Okay, good. Yes, 10. The answer is 10. Good job. All right. So 10 people can travel on the side of a two-wheeled vehicle. Two-wheeled means a motorcycle. Okay, it's a motorcycle. All right. So remember, don't ever try this uh, in your kampong. Uh, okay, you don't you don't say like, oh, yeah, I've just learned this from Mr. Dave Ahaba Haba in the Philippines, and I want to try to try, I mean, to, you know, have 10 people on one motorcycle and... Yeah, that is a transportation in the Philippines, but not in Malaysia, so don't ever do so, all right? And remember, uh, uh, social distancing, yeah? Okay, yes. <laughs> and the last, last, last one. Uh, I think this is quite famous. La. I mean, um, as long as you have been to Bangkok or Thai, I um, mean, Thailand before, this is very common. It's called what? TikTok. No, it's not TikTok. <laughs> it's called... Tok tok, ah, tok tok, not tok tok, okay, not TikTok, ah, okay. Don't ever mention like next time you travel to Thailand, then you just tell your friend, oh yeah, you know what? I want to write in TikTok. Then your friend will be, huh? What TikTok? TikTok is on is in the phone, not on the street, okay. So it's called tok tok, ah, tok tok, ah. So how many wheels? How many wheels does this vehicle have? Ah. How many wheels does this vehicle have? Yes, anyone? How many wheels? 
three. Yes, very easy, right? You just spot this three wheeled vehicle. Now look, three wheeled with a dash and ed is an adjective. San lun te. Okay, san lun te. Uh, so in, in Mandarin, it's called san lun te. Okay, but in English, if you want to mention like this vehicle has three wheels and it is a three wheeled vehicle. So we need to put a dash and ed, three wheeled vehicle. Or this vehicle has three wheels. All right, remember? Uh? Okay, so this is what we call adjectives. All right, three wheeled vehicle. Congratulations. So I think most of you have mastered the skills, the reading skills, all right? You know how to spot, you know how to listen to keywords and then spot the answers, spot the keywords and then find the answers. Good job. All right, a big clap for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you ready for the first activity? Activity one. Ah, okay. Now, this is a passage about what train? Shinka, Shinkansen train. What is Shinkansen? Have you heard of this term, Shinkansen? Ah, I think you have heard of this Shinkansen before, right? This word, I think is very, quite famous. And it is known as the what? Ah, okay. So Shinkansen train is in Japan, all right? So now let's take a look at the first paragraph, okay? First paragraph, yeah? So I have a task for you to do later. Huh? So y'all please listen to me attentively. All right. So now look, the first paragraph. Now I give you, um, okay, so you can just go through the text. If you visit Japan, you might choose to travel around the country by bullet train or Shinkansen train. They are nicknamed bullet trains because they go very fast and have pointy noses like a bullet. So now let me ask you a question. What does this paragraph tell you? Can you just tell me in like in a sentence, just type in one sentence, a short sentence, a simple sentence, all right? What does this paragraph tell you? What is it about? What is this paragraph about? After reading the text, right? What do you understand about this text? What does it tell you? Come on, any answers? Yes, low tangent. You got it right. It's about what? It's about bullet train. Yes. Yes, they are fast as a bullet. Very good. So this is what the paragraph tells you. All right? The main idea, okay, the whole thing that you must read. Now, when it comes to reading, so when you read, you must know what does the paragraph tell you. You don't, you, you don't just read it just for the sake of reading, no. But you must always ask a question. What does this paragraph tell me? As a reader, I read this paragraph, right? So what does it tell me? Oh yeah, this paragraph tells me that um, Shinkansen train, okay, it's very fast. And it has pointing. It has a pointy nose like a bullet. So this is all about it. The first paragraph. Good job. All right. I can see some answers here. The paragraph is about bullet train. Good. Fast as a bullet. Yes. Uh, as fast as a bullet. Good. All right. So normally when we when we want to talk about the idea of the paragraph, which which means. What is the paragraph all about? Normally, we use one sentence, a simple sentence to, to talk about it. All right? Now, next, here comes the second paragraph. Now, so second paragraph, bullet trains are a good way to travel for several reasons other than the speed. They are very punctual and comfortable. Most importantly, bullet trains are very safe in the 35 year history there have been no sorry there have been only a few accidents and no deaths okay so now no deaths so anyone can you please tell me what is it all about so which means in second paragraph it tells you what it tells you that shinkashen trend uh, sorry shinkashen train is very <clears throat> 
sorry, it's very what? Yes, it's very safe. Good word, safe. The bullet train is safe. All right, here comes the last paragraph. However, the only disadvantage to bullet trains is that they are expensive. A ticket to travel to another city can cost almost as much as an airline ticket would. It is often more convenient to take a bullet train instead of flying because you will arrive exactly where you want to be. So what is this paragraph all about? What does it tell you? Anyone? So this paragraph tells us that Shinkansen train is very, what? The ticket is very what? The ticket is, yes, the cost of the train. Very good. All right, I can see answer from Bergev. Okay, very good. It's about the cost. So how is the cost? Very expensive. Good, but worth it. Annabelle got it right. Good. All right. So now, just to test your understanding, I just want you to give me a quick answer. Okay. Now, what is the name given to the bullet train in Japan? What is the name given? Very easy, right? This question, just to test your understanding. All right. Yes, I can see answers there. It's called what? Shinka. Yes, yeah, Shinkansen train. So it is called Shinkansen train. Okay. All right. I can see that some say I will pay for a pr uh, pay the price for the ticket. Good. Yeah, you can just give it a try. Okay. Now here comes the second question. Why are they nicknamed bullet trains? Why? Why well, are they nicknamed bullet trains? So they are nicknamed bullet trains because they travel. Yeah, so this is the keyword. So because they go very, they go very fast. Okay, they go very fast. All right. Now, next, number one, the second paragraph. Why are bullet trains a good way to travel? Why are they a good mean? Why are they a good way to travel? Okay, why? Because they are, yes, because of the speed and also they are safe, okay? They are safe and they are punctual and comfortable, all right? Punctual and comfortable. So this is the answer. Next, are bullet trains safe and why? Are they safe? Are they safe? Right? Yes, they are very safe. Why? Because... See, they are safe as there have been only a few accidents and no deaths. Okay, all right, no one died. Okay, in the in the accidents. All right. Okay, so here comes the third paragraph, the final paragraph, the last paragraph. So, what is the disadvantage to bullet trains? Disadvantage, the drawbacks. So, disadvantage is because the what? So the ticket, yes, the ticket is very expensive. The ticket is more expensive than any other trains. All right. So that is the disadvantage. All right. Next is expensive. I can see the answers there. Good. And the next question, will you take a bullet train instead of flying? Why? Uh, but I, I think I got your answers, right? This is how you answer. If let's say yes. So I will because I will arrive exactly where I want to be or because it is a good experience, right? No, I won't because the ticket is too expensive. It's very expensive. I can't afford to pay for it, right? Yeah. So some people, they don't want to travel in a bullet train because it's too expensive, right? Okay. Good job. So now I can see most of you. I can, I can see that uh, maybe... 80 to 90% of you know how to answer questions. Good job. All right. Yes. Okay. So now, all in all, how many means, means, means ways, how many ways of transportation that we have? Can you all please guess by looking at the picture here and guess how many ways, how many ways of transportation here? How many ways that you can spot from here? How many ways? We have 10 ways. Hmm. No ways. When it comes to when it comes to ways, it doesn't mean types. Okay. Means means what? Means. Five means, five ways. Hmm. Let's see. 
The first is airways. The second, waterways. The third, railways. And the last way, the last means is roadways. All right, so four means of transportation. Remember four means, airways, uh, Kong Zhong, waterways, Shui, railways, Huo Che, roadways, Ma Lu. All right, four, there are four means. Okay, now, can you give me some examples of airways uh, transportation? Anyone, airways transportation, what do you know? Very easy, right? Very easy. We have this aeroplane, yes, aeroplane, right? And then what else? I can see helicopter, okay? Helicopter, yes, very good. What else? Hot air balloon, okay? Next, jet and rocket okay rocket right so these are the types of transportation okay right of this means of transportation these are the types of um this means of transportation right okay next waterways what about waterways what do we have waterways boat yes okay And then what else? Yacht, right? Uh, then jet ski, submarine, overcraft, and ship. All right. So these are the examples of waterways uh, transportation. All right. Submarine. Yes. Good job. All right. Next, railways. Uh, railways in KL. If you are from KL, of course, you can see, right? A lot of trains in KL. So we have this urban rail transit, right? KLA transit. And then uh, LRT. Yes, LRT. Okay, we have suspension train. Of course, this is not in Malaysia. This is in Germany. Remember, Germany suspension train. And then bullet train in Japan. And we have monorail in Malaysia as well. Okay, so we have these three types of trains in Malaysia, LRT, monorail, and urban rail, uh, urban rail transit, all right? And the last means of transportation is roadways. I think roadways are quite common, like very easy, okay? Like bus, we have bus, bicycle, car, taxi, okay, van, motorcycle, all right? So now here comes the second passcode. So can you all please jot down this is the second passcode means the first passcode what is it all about i mean what is the first passcode yeah i can't remember never mind ah later i will show you the first passcode so this is the second passcode write it down on a piece of paper yeah or somewhere okay so the second passcode is means means all right next now do you know that we can describe this transportation with some interesting words Hmm. So we can use what to describe nouns. Anyone? I want to see your answers now. We can use what to describe nouns. We can use what to describe nouns. I want to see. Did anyone get this correct? Hmm. Is it means? No. Beautiful? No. We can use what to describe nouns. If you want to describe something, what do you, what do you use? We use a word. A word. The word means what? It's called adjectives. All right? We use adjectives to describe nouns. I remember we use adjectives like, yes. I mean, the examples that you have given are correct, like big, long, beautiful, dangerous. All these are correct, but what are these? These are adjectives okay adjectives now what is an adjective so an adjective is a describing word describing word means you use the you use a word to describe something and it gives more information and gives more meaning all right now here comes the second activity can you just list four adjectives okay to describe this bicycle can you just describe this bicycle with some interesting words with four interesting words. Anyone? 
Yes, I can see that unique. Yes, you, you can use the word unique. What else? Light. Yes, I can see that light. Yellow. Good. Light. Yellow. Yeah, you got my answer. Yo. So mm, great, huh? Special, yes. And you can use what? New. You can use two wheeled. All right. Two wheeled. Okay. So now can you write a sentence to describe this bicycle using an adjective? Can you write a sentence, a simple sentence? Just write a simple sentence to describe this, I mean, to, to use an adjective, like for example, I have a new bicycle. Very easy, okay? I, uh, my bicycle is yellow. Very easy, this is a yellow bicycle, very good. Okay, next. Can you please describe aeroplane? Can you use some adjectives to describe aeroplane, to describe this aeroplane? Yes slow um high mm, high not really is it fast yes fast okay heavy right heavy noisy very noisy right with the sound you know and large it's large right so can you just choose one adjective and make a sentence type your answer there can you please type your answer in the comment box there huh the aeroplane is large, for example. All right, very easy. Okay, so it's very straightforward. My bicycle is yellow, yeah. What about aeroplane? Mm. Okay, next. What about LRT? Ah, LRT, can you please use, I mean, some adjectives to describe LRT? Fast? Metal, right? Metal, material, right? And it's very long. You see, wow, very long. Like how many coaches? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, six coaches. And it's white. You can use a color to describe something. Color is an adjective as well. All right? So, again, can you please write a sentence using any of the adjectives given here? Write a sentence. Ah. Okay, so the train is white, the train is long, very easy, right? Just a simple sentence will do. All right, next. Here comes the third activity. Okay, the third activity. Ah, now, can you describe this? Can you describe this car with some adjectives or with some interesting words? Fast, right? Good, I can see the answer there. Fast, metal, rate, new all right fast metal rate new now but now i want you to make a sentence using two different adjectives now you need to put these two adjectives together to describe this this thing this car can you can you do that use two adjectives to describe this car in a sentence all right so type in a sentence Okay, say for example, my father is driving a red sporty car, for example. Okay, this new car is red. Okay, mm, it is a red new car or new red car, or which one? Ah, so I can see some answers there. Okay, don't try, try not to use and, okay? Just put two adjectives together, like for example, um uh heavy uh heavy metal ball for example okay so ah uh, next boat what about boat so any adjectives that you can describe boat wooden empty yeah it's empty right small it's unstable right unstable it's unstable right okay so can you use two adjectives to make a sentence? Okay. So I'm not going to tell you the answers yet until, um, I mean, later I will show you the examples. Okay, the sentences. Ah, I can see that. Okay, the boat is very small. Yes, good. That is a good sentence. 
okay small old yes you can use the word old to describe this is a this is an unstable wooden boat okay unstable wooden boat or is it wooden unstable boat or what ah so which one and then i can see um okay good all right next the last one hot air balloon so it's hot right smooth light and round okay round so it's round right okay so can you use two adjectives to make a sentence to describe this object this this uh transportation hot air balloon fly fly is not an adjective huh, students fly is not fly is a verb okay yeah big yes round yes colorful yes okay good job all right so all these are adjectives and now class remember when i ask you to put two adjectives together to describe something so sometimes you will you will you will doubt like hey um should i place this first or this first ah so this is the order of adjectives that you must follow in short we call it i mean or sascom or sascom means what when you when you want to arrange like for example is it unstable wooden boat or wooden unstable boat so now look unstable unstable is what opinion right unstable so unstable comes first and then wooden wooden is what wooden is the material so it comes later so it's supposed to be would uh, unstable wooden boat now do you understand okay like for example my father is driving a red new car or new red car which one red new car or new red car so we must follow the order of adjectives here so new new is an opinion so new right i mean sorry h uh new is under h and then red is color so it has to be new red car and if you write red new car wrong understand so this is what we call the order of adjectives and in short just need to remember this way or sas com o s a s c o m or sas com that's it all right so here comes the examples okay the sentences given here now if I want to describe this car, my father has a new red car. So new comes first. New is under H. <clears throat> and then red color. So new red car. Okay, next. There is an old small boat in the river. Old. Old is an opinion. Right? Then small is the size. Number three, I wish to travel in a big round hot air balloon. Big round. Big is a size round is a shape you cannot say round big hot air balloon wrong or small old boat wrong or red new car wrong understand so we must follow the sequence or sas come always remember this or sas come all right yes okay good job okay now so the third passcode is called or sas come the third passcode okay third passcode all right Okay, so have you jotted down the third passcode or SASCOM? Yes. Okay, now here comes the last part of the activities. Okay, so what transportation can you see in this picture? Anyone? What transportation can you see in this picture? Yes. What transportation? I can see what? A train? Yes or no? A bus and a car right three types of transportation here okay I can see there are three types of transportation It's B U S it's not B A S uh, bus I uh, remember uh, the spelling of the word bus is B U S okay so what I want you to do is now you choose one of the transportation that you want to talk about and write in a paragraph okay write in a paragraph so there are only two to three sentences. This is your homework, uh, class homework. Uh. Okay, so you are required to do it in, in Padlet. That is a uh, templates for you. Uh. So you will 
you will do it in Padlet, okay? And write in the paragraph, two to three sentences will do, okay? Two to three sentences only, uh? all right? So you just choose one transportation and you type in a paragraph like this with three sentences or two sentences, the weather is sunny. So in every sentence, you must include an adjective, at least one adjective, or you can use two adjectives, all right? The weather is sunny. A lady walks out of the long white train. She's holding a small brown book in her hand, for example. Or I can choose a car, transportation, car. I am in an air-conditioned car. It is my father's new brown car. We are happy to have a city tour in his car. Or I can choose a bus. I see a tall man waiting for a bus, a new yellow bus stops at the bus stop. All right, <clears throat> see, these are simple sentences. So you can write two sentences or three sentences, all right? It's up to you, <coughs> excuse me, all right? So now, here comes the, this is your homework, okay? So if you want to let me help you out with your, I mean, your writing skills, okay? Now, the first part was about reading skills. Now, the second part is about writing skills. So if you want me to help you out with your writing skills, then you can just click on the link here. I mean, there is a link, okay? Or you can just type tiny.cc writing activity three, okay? Or you just type this in your Google uh, bar, okay? Google, Google Chrome there, the bar search. So you can just type tiny.cc writing activity three okay so <clears throat> now just choose any just choose one type of transportation that you can see in this picture and write in a paragraph so you can choose this train bus a van a car a motorcycle okay <clears throat> a bicycle a car again a motorbike a train again or car. See, so many types of transportation here. All right, Ken, can you do that? Okay, so only those students who really want me to help you out with your writing skills, you can just you can just go to this link, click on it, I mean, just search, or you can just click on the link there. The link is in the comment box there, the comment section there. So you can just click on it, and then um, you can just type your answers there. I will help you out with that, okay? I will just review your answers and I will just tell you, okay? All right, so that's the end. And just to recap, what have you learned today with me? The first thing is means of transportation. So how many means? There are four means, four main means of transportation, right? The first is airways. The second is waterways. The third is railways. The fourth is roadways. Always remember. And if you want to put two adjectives together to describe something, okay, then you must follow the order. Okay, remember to follow the order. All right. What is the order? Or sas, or sas com. All means opinion, size, age, shape color, origin, and the last one is material or SASCOM. Always remember, when you want to put two adjectives together to describe something, you must follow the, this order of adjectives. And here are the three passcodes. So maybe some of you just joined in late. Uh, maybe some of you joined in late, right? So this is the first passcode, unique. The second passcode means and the third passcode, OSASCOM. All right. So if you want to ask me something about the, your writing skills, or if you want to drop me an email, or you can just send me an email. All right. You can just type in your email, in, I mean, in a paragraph form, and then just send in. All right. You can just send it to Dave Learning Channel Alliance Gmail.com. Okay. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for being with me. And I hope you all have learned a lot, okay, about reading skills and writing skills. Thank you. Bye.
Okay, thank you, Captain Steve. <coughs> thank, thank you so much thank for you. your wonderful sharing. Thank you, Captain thank you. Steve, again. Thank you. All right. So, pupils, boys and girls, so we are almost at the end of our session. So, I believe you had a great session with our Captain Dave, isn't it? Okay, so once again, so before you leave, please like our Facebook page and do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing so, you will be able to replay, replay and receive notifications of our next Dark in the Spark Learn English Online series. All right, so before leaving, I have one more last task for you. Ah, so do remember the three passcode. So now please type this link in your web browser, http gg.gg slash easy English tree. Okay, e z e n g l i s h tree. Or you may just scan the QR code that's showing here. So after that, you have to fill out the Google form. Okay, you have to fill out the Google form for your attendance. So you will receive a special certificate from the Ministry of Education if you have attended 14 times of our Easy Learning English classes. Okay? 好,同学们,当你点击了这个以上的网址过后呢,请马上填上该Google form。以证明你参与了今天的网课。如果你成功的参与了十四次，啊，十四次Easy Learning Web 的英语网课后，你将获得教育部所颁发的证书。Okay, all right. So our next sections will be on 14 of June, so from four to five in the afternoon. So I hope to see you again in our next section and. Once again, goodbye and see you all. Bye-bye.